being 7 o'clock, I'm going to open our meeting. Um, do we have mail or bills? Yeah, we have. We have a, a payroll for um, Jean uh, for the payroll ending uh, March 1, 2019 for 8 27 Yeah, bills are in the bills. Make a motion to uh, accept the payroll. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. We have a bill for the um, citizen, um, the CPTC, the planning conference. Um, so four of us are going. Um, Jean, me, John, Peter and Alicia, you don't are you interested in going to this? I when is it? I don't it know. is March sixteenth. March sixteenth. Saturday. I don't know when you've been. Have you been to one before? I have not. So these are. Um, I just say they're pretty awesome. Um, you get to be with a bunch of other planners, you know, a bunch of other um, you know planning board members and planners, um, and the topics are usually pretty good. Um, they, it's actually a great bunch. And th which is kind of cool because you get to sit with other oh, you know, sure. and, and talk to people, kind of network a little bit. Um, and the, the trainings are, sometimes you go to these trainings and it's all about networking. It is, the trainings are really good. Nice. Mm -hmm. What time um, does it start? I don't even know. It's usually two days, it's like, right? Yeah, it's no, just one day. No, it's just one day to Saturday? It's usually like yeah. 8 to 3 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably uh, the first session starts at 9.15. So, so probably. probably. Yeah. There's like... If you, you want to have, have food like, um, food food. Put me on the list for next year. Next year. <laughs> you want to go this year? No. I can't go this year. I've got I've got something to do. So. Because I think I have to work that day. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. As long as the election goes well, I'll be on for next year. Me, Jean, <laughs> okay. John, and okay. Peter. Accept those bills as well. Second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we have to review our draft minutes. They should be in your folders. seventh emergency meeting that we had. Um, do you want motions for each one or do you want are you going to explain to it? Um, we'll motion we can motion for this one and then the other one is, is a little bit more um, I will make a motion to accept the minutes from February seventh. We have a second? I'll let you finish reading. Yeah I'm just there's something like this was okay. Mm -hmm. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. So we have the February 13th minutes. I know these were all emailed to everybody, so everybody had a chance to go through these. Did you listen to the tape and go, go over these? I actually um, took the thumb drive from the recorder and I uploaded it to transcription software. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. And then I listened to the whole entire tape and um, I sometimes there were um, like so's and ums. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So and I just took those out okay. so, it, so it was readable. It's easier to read. Right? So halfway down the first page, um, it says, so if you don't feel uncomfortable, is that really what I you said? It's probably, it's probably not what you meant, but is that what you said? I, I don't know. Halfway down. 
I remember it is if you don't feel comfortable, we don't have to sign it. Meaning, if, right. right, and what it should read is if you feel uncomfortable. Yes, yes, or if you don't feel comfortable. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, I, and I actually probably said that. Just okay. That's, that's, that's what I was saying, that software is pretty good. And it's not what you meant. Right. We understood what you meant, but okay. If you don't feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable. I didn't want to. I didn't want to modify these things. Yeah, not, and, that's, and that's fine. I, it's, it's, you know what you meant by that. Right. And if you go on record saying that's what you meant, then yep. it should be fine. Mm -hmm. But this is accurate as far as how it was said. The only thing I will say is, um, and I guess because we weren't recorded, This is a good, this is more like a transcript than actual minutes. Correct. Minutes are not supposed to be this yep. long. No. Yeah. This is, um, yeah. But so you have a, you it have wasn't a, recorded right, because doing I, this. So part of the reason for this, and I mean, it was, it's actually a fun software to, to use. Okay. Um, and I had, it, it, it was like a fun software. But we, we usually get videoed, and there's a lot going on in our meetings, and everybody's watching us, and I thought, we have it, we can upload it. I mean, in reality, okay. it was an hour for me to, you know, to <coughs> throw it sure. up and then reread. So it's, we try okay. to act as transparent as possible. So I just don't video. I would do not really want future minutes. No, to no, be no, 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 I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do agree, this is a little verbose. A little yeah. yeah, no one wants to spend, you know, <laughs> it takes a good hour to get through the whole entire thing in detail. Yeah. Well, I started reading it and felt that I was there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I want our, our residents pass two hundred dollars a year, and I want them to feel like we're worth their two hundred dollars a year. Just and how much was the encryption software? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm thinking I want that. <laughs> True story, not to get totally off topic. I remember the first time I was asked to take notes, and that's basically year. And this we're going way what back. This is basically what I did. And I presented them, and they said, oh, no, 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 strike, 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 strike. And I went from five pages to this big. <laughs> discussion ensued. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. A long discussion yeah. ensued. Motion was made. Motion was made. <laughs> okay. I volunteered a lot more after that to take them. <laughs> So I guess do we do we want to go through this again and just pull out the um, parts. yeah the important parts and, and not make it so verbose or do you feel like this is, this is uh, I think um, in this particular case because we, we weren't we weren't it wasn't recorded and there was a lot of stuff discussed in here that's that that important. is important um, that for this time for this I mean again you chime in um, you know I'm a big mouth here um, but I. I just because it's a subject matter that has a lot of interest Absolutely. to kind of mm -hmm. put it in front of us. Um, I don't think this is a normal thing. I don't think we even have time to sit here and review kind of, you know, minutes. Um, Mention okay. March six minutes like this. <laughs> no. no. As long as everyone who spoke feels that they were represented correctly in these, because I think the only danger in that, I, I wasn't here, um, is that once these go on record as the minutes, unlike a video, you're attesting that these are exactly what was said. That's that's the only concern I had too. Is if somebody said something that could be taken you know, or, or mispronounced a word or something, well, the, or the said uncomfortable is, instead of comfortable. Always, I mean, I mean, we can actually act our parts here. We can, we can, we read can do it. like masterpiece, <laughs> masterpiece <laughs> theater. <laughs> that used to be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's play each other, okay? Let's, let's <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it used to be fine. <laughs> were, there, were there any other changes in here? I didn't notice anything. I got <coughs> to, through page seven and then yeah. realized that I could edit for um, editorial purposes, but again, you not don't being know what here, this, yeah. I don't know that you didn't actually say blah, 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 blah. No. But I was having fun editing it grammatically. <laughs> <laughs> We don't always speak as well as no. we. I'm a much more grammatically correct typer than I am speaker. 
depends from the brain to the mouth, so it exactly. just takes a detour. <laughs> No, silly question, and I realize this is our board. To put these on record, does Robin have to also agree that this is what she said? I, I'm asking. I mean, at the end of the day, we have the audio. Okay, fair enough. We can, you know what we could do? We could post the audio to our website. Oh, I think that's a great so idea. Everybody can listen to the actual voices. That's a, you know what? I think that's better. Because in that way, that's the actual audio. Mm -hmm. So that way, if there's any issue um, on the transcription pickup, you have exactly what was said there, and there's no question that anything was altered. It's perfect. I, I love that. Great. I think, so we, I think we should audio. make a motion to post the audio on the website as opposed to dealing with these particular minutes. Because well, these aren't real can, minutes. We can, what we can really see is two figures there. They're, they're, they're yeah. It's much easier to read them. It's, I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun listening and reading at the same time. It's like um, those audio books with Teddy Ruxpin that you used to follow along to. You might want to put on this that they were automatically transcribed. I just would, uh, just uh, in case there are as some as things that, that are as that, transcribed that, recording available. Okay. So okay. As as or, or so at least or as transcribed doesn't say that they were automatically transcribed. Correct. Uh, as it as transcribed by software? Yes. yes. There you go. Yes. Sure. Sure. That way, if there's something that people That's question, correct. they can always go to the tape and, and let, the that, that, that may cover any. That, that software is not perfect. And I would put a or rather than recording available, recording available on Well, that was my website. hour at a time. I went right. through, and I listened, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the things, sometimes it, it doubled the word, and, and yeah, that, that was, yeah, okay. But we'll make sure, um, because everything is word for word. Um, okay. If one word was taken out, you know, is that I don't know. It's just word plainer, else. right. But it's word for word. Okay. Well, you can start re-listening to these as um, bedtime stories for the kids. <laughs> So we have to vote on the minutes um, to um, make a motion to accept them. Do we have a second? Um, yeah, I, I would amend question. that to say to accept yeah, the, the, the written minutes, the transcribed minutes, and post the, the, software. the software. Okay. Okay. I'll second. Is that the motion? That is the motion. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. from some of the emails we have, a mm -hmm. lot of things are happening kind of behind the scenes and we are not updated at all. And I just, th having the court know that we do not have an attorney by filing this will just, if another, if an attorney representing anybody comes and says, I'm the representative of the planning board, it's going to kind of cause the red flag to go off and say, um, why did they file this? If, that's their attorney, and we, we again mm -hmm. another safety net for another reason. And that's how I feel. So you can chime in. I I, um, I feel bad that there is so much distrust, but it's there, and I I I I feel strongly that we need to keep on um, defending our eight months of work for our, and, and not have anything happen without our approval. Well, I think in, to take distress totally off the table, it's our names on the website individual, on the lawsuit, excuse me, individually, so therefore we should be notified. Regardless of anything, we need to know what's happening with this lawsuit since it's our names on it. And we should be, we should be the first to know if something's changing, if um, anything bad, good, or indifferent, we at least have the right then to do something about it. And again, it's only a, 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 a filing that mm -hmm. if they want to rescind, we can rescind. And, mm -hmm. and certainly at the point where we have our attorney, it's all his or her formality. 
to, to deal with, but it, what it does, it, again, it, it says that we don't have an attorney and, it's, and, and we're here. That's correct. So right now a motion has been filed to move this with the other ones to land court. That's but it shouldn't, but without our permission. Well, I, I think everybody agrees filed? that that's probably the right thing to do, though. I mean, but we don't. But we want to be part of that decision. That hasn't so, been filed yet, has it? I thought it was filed. To, to, isn't that no, what no, was sent the out today? No, the extension was filed. I, don't, I have no clue. We have the extension. No, I thought until what was sent out today in, in email. That was that was. The where did you see that? I saw that the town warrant. That was the town warrant. Okay. But there were two other things that came out today. Yeah, and I don't um, know where I saw it. I know I read it somewhere. I'm full of the word. Yeah. You mean on the PCC website? They I had know, something about the land court. Email yes, out. and I think oh, that was the filing to move this to land court. I, but, okay. I, didn't have time I wasn't to sure it, if, I if I had seen that somewhere, if I had seen that in an email, but okay. Okay. Did we get an email that I didn't see? Did we get any notification that this has been moved to? No. Okay. Uh, do you know anything? No, I haven't seen it. Okay, never mind then. Withdraw that I question. Did, and I, I mean, we had attorney Till say that, and um, it's a good. So, so. But I just don't want it to go to land court without us giving up, giving it the. We, I just don't want to give the anybody the impression that we are not going to be very an active part in this defense. Um, we want to be updated by our attorney, and we'll have our attorney handle it. Um, I, I guess my biggest fear is that they're going to want to consolidate everything, all the lawsuits, everything that has to do with BGD, and there's a bunch of them out there. I want our site plan to be looked at as an individual, as, on, as um, it's on its own, on its own merit. Um, I don't want um, it to be kind of put together in one say, oh, you know, this, this is this and this is that. We want, I think we made a very good decision. We had a lot of hearing. The decision that was written was fabulous. I think it has, um, a, it's standing on, on, on solid ground. And I, and I, and, and if a lawyer comes to us, a fire attorney comes to us as well, it's great to consolidate it. That's the best thing. So fabulous. But let our attorney tell us that for, at this point, let's get this file just so everybody knows. That if only we had an attorney. If, exactly. Um, and I think we've asked, Don, I think you in the minutes might have asked like 11 times. 10 yeah, times. yeah. So I was hoping for a different answer, but it never came out. My kids yeah. try to ask me something again and again. I'd ask for different ways too. too so. yeah. um, Ignore and redirect. <laughs> so again, so I, we have it here with everybody's um, names and Ross said that I can um, bring it to him and he'll sign it, so we'll have it um, complete. Good. And we did already vote to approve yes. it. I don't know if we need to vote again. Just for formality, I think <coughs> maybe. I'll make a motion that we vote. That to, I'll make a motion that we sign individually to submit to the court so that we can be notified in case there are any changes. There was just one question about the threat that Robin gave us about losing insurance to the town if we went through with that. That was at the very end. I think if it was a true, a, uh, I took it as a, a threat. I don't know. If it was more than a threat, I think that we would have an attorney. We would have gotten a letter from an attorney yeah. or something. I, I apologize because I didn't clearly didn't make it through to the and very I, end I, of the minutes. What are you referencing? Well, during the conversation, and it's a, towards the end of the, and I don't know if it was even. Yeah, there is something. There is something about insurance. And she kind of said that. Well. It, there's a possibility if you go through the signing this or getting the course that we were, we we're pursuing is that you would not be covered by the town's insurance if the uh, loss of suit went through. Oh, I did read that. Okay. So, so I, I took it that I took it her as, as her as just trying to rattle the cage. If we took her. on Attorney Hill, yeah. that's what my interpretation. If we if we use Attorney Hill, then we wouldn't be covered. But it's if it was. I, I just wanted to clar clarify that because I was just, I didn't kind of school about that. I didn't think it was very fair for her to say that. But Do you mean liability insurance? Yes. See, and I think this is where you, you open up a huge can of worms, not can of worms, I'm sorry, but a mm -hmm. huge issue yeah. in that we need an attorney to <laughs> yeah. advise us. Yeah. So what she said was you don't want to do that because then, you, then you'll be giving up your rights to be represented by town council. But if it turns out there's something and it turns out to being something and you were acting and you had to doing your job then this and we're at this table and then the insurance is an issue 
So yeah. That's, that's word for word what she said. You're not gonna if you do that, you're not gonna be allowed to use town council and, and you're you're covered your own. by liability insurance from the town. That's the way I took it. I so I mean, was it just a threat? I, I think our attorney would be able yeah. to tell us if it was just a threat. My well, biggest concern down. is that we are shooting a lot of ducks in the dark. I mean, we're not attorneys. We don't know this stuff. This is this are, these are legalities that are of grave concern. And so if we sign this document and we lose the town's liability, in, or not sign it, but if we submit this document and we lose the town's liability insurance, well, that's a major issue. If that's all a um, naked threat, if you will, if it's you know a, um, a goofy threat, but it's not real, well, that's another major issue that these threats are being put out there. Absolutely. And I'm not making any accusations, but we need to know where we stand. And I hate the fact that we're going based on maybes and ifs and assumptions and not having an attorney stand up there and say this is this and that is that because one of the reasons VGD did not go through is because the lawyers stood up and they were able to talk to us very clearly and concisely about real live, um, every, not every day, but real live things that were happening and um, very, the legal matters. Right now, we're, and I mean no offense to anybody, we're just common people that are being threatened with a major lawsuit representing ourselves. I mean, we're like Farmer John standing up there in court with our pitchforks and they've got these high-end lawyers representing them. And it just, it makes me incredibly nervous that we're at this point and we've been left here. Right. But at the, but at the, um, the, under the dictatorship of our town administrator Correct. and our, and our, and our the board of selectmen chair, they continuously yes. say, yes. we'll think about it later, we'll think about it later. <coughs> good, good luck with that. Um, you might lose insurance, you might not be covered. And um, we, you know, don't worry about it though. We'll handle it. And I but nobody's handling it. And I'm not yelling no, at you, I'm not being no, mean to you, right. but nobody's handling it now. So now we're here, and it's February 27th, and when did we get this? When were we served? I mean, this came right around Christmas time. No, no it's right. uh, the, the 30th of January. Okay, yeah. so January it seems like it's been a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So it's been a month now, and there's been countless meetings, and we still don't have a lawyer. It still we has, still don't know. and we still don't know. And now we need to file something. But Robin sat there and continuously told us that the suit is against the town. I saw that. So why would right. we? Nine times you have no authority. You have no authority. authority and we have no authority. But yet we see the let, the email, the trail of emails that where the VGG attorneys actually say, um, and I was lucky enough to get the final email with the whole trail of emails to be able to, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known that, that the attorney Duffy from VGG actually said, has the planning um, board assented to all of that, you know, to the to the um, consolidation. Um, what consolidation? Right. So they're all. Yeah, they're, that, I meant yeah. right before. Right. And whether I was supposed to get all those emails or not, I mean, in, I mean, that's what we have. Right. Um, I'm just kind of frustrated, and I want to again yes. make sure that we are informed if there's movement. That's all. Now, I do believe. Well. On March 31st, we have Attorney Hill that said that if we don't have an attorney by March 31st, the extension date, he'll step in, and that's what we'll... I'm not suggesting we don't sign. I'm just frustrated with how yeah, this process right. is really I'm not really afraid Madam of Chair, the threat. I'm sorry to interrupt. What are you deliberating on signing? What's before you to, to sign? Mm -hmm. The resolution to the meeting. The response to the um, lawsuit. The so answer. The I answer, I'm sorry. I have an answer that's received to the current courts in Worcester County on February 8th. Correct. Is this going to replace that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. The difference is um, an attorney can sign to represent the whole board and even though we we voted for me to sign, it just doesn't, it, it just because I'm so not an attorney. So you're going to sign as individuals? Yes. Have you modified the document that was signed under your signature? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same. Exactly. So I can yes. use. The only thing that was added was names because they were. Right, right. Individual. Right. Thank that's you so much. Yep, that's, that's the, this is the original one. So okay. we'll sign in. Okay. So. Oh. Any other discussion? Um, no, no, I, I, I still don't feel comfortable, but I will sign. Do we have a motion in the second? No. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we sign individually and resubmit the document. Second. Any further? Aye. 
after we sign this, I will um, bring it to Worcester Court and get the stamp copies filed with the with the town clerk and make sure everybody gets Thank the you. stamp copies. Okay. And I'll, I'll also chase down the snowstorm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as lucky as Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> We have, um, does it let us be signed in blue or black? I know some of the courts get upset. I think we're all in different colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you always signed in blue, because you know the original. It used to be that you always had to sign in black, right. because the, um, I forget whether it was the register or the court, but they wouldn't that. accept blue. Then it somehow got switched, and they said, okay, you only want to sign in blue, so that way they can denote originality. Right. I don't know where that's at. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. It's not with colored copiers, you can get okay. anything. Okay. You guys, there's, this is that's the certified true. copy that it's going to that it's going to get certified for him in this. So, are you going to sign these Yes. We have two signatures. I'm actually surprised they don't get notarized. It's such a simple document, too. Thank you. So we are only having a discussion about what we <coughs> want to have a public hearing on so we could submit for the town meeting, warrant articles to the town meeting. So we don't have to have any lengthy con conversation about what we want to do, how we want to do it, and all the details. We just have to decide the um, for the warrant, and then we can come up with the articles and later. Can, and then, yep, so we can, if we correct it, then we'll have a public meeting on the things that we decide that we want to have a public meeting on, and then um, vote to approve to sponsor them under the, for the warrant article. Since Lori's here, do you want to let her yeah. present the stolen bylaw, and then you won't have to stick around after that? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Um, I do have a question with timing. Can I come up? Um, and if Bill can clarify it, based on this budget calendar that Robin gave me, it looks like you have to have your warrants in by the 12th. We have to have placeholders in. Just placeholders? Yes. And then uh, the final, um, they close the warrant on the 11th. They're considering the drafts on the 25th. So does it look like week of April 1st and the 8th? It's Board of Second Selectman and Pincom consider draft ATM warrant requests. I just want to be sure that we don't miss something. When does the hearing have to be? Like so many days before annual town Well, we were talking, we have two meetings in April, probably at the first meeting, open the hearing on the zoning articles. Okay. And then at the second meeting, uh, take further comments and then make the recommendation on the articles. So that would be April 17th, I think. And that's enough time to have, does I, Mr. I can verify that, but that's. Cosgrove can, looks at it before the hearings? Okay. So if you're having the hearings the first week of April, then you have to give it to Jim. So we'd have a draft available by the time the hearing opens. And for him to review. All right, I'm just get a little mm -hmm. nervous when it comes to times. Right. Thank you. Um, just, I figured the easiest way for me is just to answer any questions you have from the draft. But if I could preface it with, I think we all know that this is good for solar field number 26, but it won't affect the first 25. <laughs> um, you know, the board has not had a presentation on the bylaw yet, so maybe you could sort of so start from the beginning. Quickly, okay. That's okay with Some of us have. Okay. Well, that's right. I just don't want to take up your time, so if I get too dirty, we've got a lot going on. Do we have a copy of it? Yes. Do we have a copy of it? Is it in this? I believe yep. Bill made copies for you. Should it look like this? That's so an email from Lori, oh, and then the bylaws are behind it. Oh, got it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So the first thing we did, or I did, was I, uh, oh, I yeah, took Sturbridge's zoning, typed it in, 
So we had oh, something to start from, and it was almost verbatim to the 2014 DOER guideline. Um, and then from there, we just kept reviewing it. We looked at other towns. Uh, other towns are very helpful. They're going through the same thing we are, not to the extent. I went to a meeting in uh, Hardwick, and that was put on by the East Quabbin Land Trust. So it was a room full of people doing the same thing that we're doing. Um, but they, everyone listed how many solar fields they had. And when, <laughs> when I said Charlton, you should have heard, it was, it was quite comical. Wow. Because they had four, two. two. Um, but uh, the DOER had a rep there who said, we do have some controls. Contrary to what we were sold back in the day, she said they believe in home rule. So we, we can decide where they can go in town. Um, the AG's office just approved the town of North Brookfield's zoning regulations that limited the fields. So they chose a number 14. So that's their limit. Um, and they maxed out, I think, five megawatts per field. And I think a lot of this is coming about because we're not getting the money what used to drive it, like we thought it was a cash cow for so many years, and it's not changing. Um, I called uh, Representative Durant's office yesterday and I heard back today. They did file another bill, but he feels it's gonna be two years. And then, even then, he doesn't have any hopes because the solar lobbyists are pushing back. Um, so we won't be getting it, and from what I understand, there's many more appeals of, of abatement requests coming in. And you're, you're, you're recommending 30? Um, and th the reason I did that is we were talking about total megawatts. So I was sitting down with Kurt and we're going emailing the list. It's so hard to find out exactly how many megawatts we have. Some are still in the planning stage. They try to max out the property and whether they hit wetlands. So we were going to do 20% above what we currently have to give people that still want to do it the options. So then I did the, the math, and it basically came out if we do 30, that's about 20%. And then limit them to five megawatts so we, per field, so to prevent the attorneys to come in and scoop up a bunch of land, and then we get solar with no taxes. So um, I'm, I'm fine with That's how that so came up. Uh, five I, megawatts, a little bit on the small side there. Five megawatts is quite large. It's the largest one we have right now in town, do you know? It's, it's just about five. It's about five. Yeah, I think I the one on Osgood is 4.5 with the, okay. the two parcels okay. for Jack okay. and, okay. and Mark Mitchell. Good idea. Okay. Probably about 25 acres. So just to summarize, so what you're saying is that right now there are 25, uh, what size? In so or permitted. Uh, how how many many it runs the gamut. It, it's, and you can't even go by acres because it's usually about, um, you know, five to eight acres for one megawatt. Okay. If I'm correct on that. So what you're stating, if I'm to understand mm -hmm. correctly, just so I know what I'm talking about, your moratorium is going to basically say that five more landowners can put up solar and then the rest are out. Except, um, and it's not a moratorium after this. It's just going to be our regs. Okay. So. Um, so what? We do have a clause in here, because I know Baypath has approached the town, and I've met with um, Baypath as well. He's promising that any solar that comes in, he's going to make sure that the town gets the tax money that it deserves. He's not going to let them file through the loophole um, or become community solar. Okay. So but that's good. So uh, five more. So five more landowners. Plus any municipal needs. If the town wants to put one on the, the landfills, okay. the two old old dump and the old old dump, um, <laughs> or uh, the school parking lot, um, any canopies, it's not going to affect any canopy solar, just the large ground mount. Yeah. Roof mount doesn't it doesn't affect um, the roof mounts aren't going to be anything very large, and it's described in here of anything over 250 kilowatts is going to be considered large. Most of the roofs are smaller than that, and you have to go around any uh, HVAC equipment. So this is only the real large ones, and it was um. I'm off topic again. 
what I tried to do, since obviously it's not going to hurt anything that's already here, is trying to look ahead. I know I mentioned that at another meeting. Trying to stay ahead of technology and protect the town is very difficult. You don't know what's coming down the so line. So you looked at the battery. So I was actually, I'm glad. Um, I did myself, not the committee, and I believe I emailed it and I have a copy I think here. you and I had that conversation and I said, I thank God for Lori. She's going to come <coughs> and teach us all how to how to deal with these well, batteries. So. You have a copy of Lori's. Yeah, this on one, and it was just uh, another thing, trying to stay on top of what's coming down the road, is the DOER just released, or they had some controversy over who was going to gain the most money from the next you round of incentives in its like solar this. energy storage. Like so it's similar to the accessory batteries that you're getting approached with now. So it's various, uh, it doesn't have to just be ground mount, but they're doing these fields. Because of all the energy in Massachusetts coming up now with solar, they need to store it for off-peak times. Lauren, could you stop a second so everybody can find the, the handout? Yeah. Um, it should be in the one labeled yeah, Zoe Bylaw Amendments. It's in this one? Looks like this. It's it's the front page the of it. The first page so is just like two pages back. Yeah, mine was just an email. And then it's um, a couple of pages down. An email from Lauren. Well, so to back up, the, uh, the solar regulations address accessory batteries. So based on zero point, they were doing two batteries for Jack in Mark Mitchell's field. So my guess was the battery uh, inside that shipping container has all the battery units. So it, the ratio seemed to be one container, 50 feet long, 10 feet high, 15 feet across, 10 feet across, um, per two megawatts of, of energy. So that's how I wrote the accessory part of the regulations. So it's included in there and asked that it just be visually mitigated and any HVAC units, the sound, be looked into if it's close. Mm -hmm. Most of them aren't close right now, so it may not even ever come up as an issue with sound. Um, so that led me go, wow, um, led me to, to keep looking online and finding those solar fields, the, the battery fields, where they're just, you know, you have 25 of them sitting there. Somewhere in all your papers, an email from Kurt saying that he and Jason Kendera from the fire department are investigating these units, mm -hmm. and they might need a little bit more time mm -hmm. before coming back to the recommendation, but they are actively studying Good. what these things are and what kind of regulations we might want to have in place. Right, because right now their lithium ion seems to be what they're using. There's lots of other kinds of batteries, so in writing the energy storage, it could be energy from solar, <coughs> wind, so we're trying to think out ahead again just so we don't get caught <coughs> on the call again. So, so I guess my big question that I've struggled with throughout all of this is, so you talk about taxes, and if mm -hmm. you're a large landowner and your property is in, and I, I'm losing the terminology, where they get heavily reduced taxes because 61A. of tax, 61A. 61A. They have to take it out of 61A to put solar on. So, all, so they're paying reduced taxes. So anything that taken out of 61A is now going to pay more in taxes. So for the town, it's actually a benefit. So if I'm John Smith landowner and I've owned my property for 50 years and I've paid taxes on it for 50 years, why should you as a town get to tell me that I can't put up more solar because I've been paying taxes, I'm going to pay more taxes if I put mm. solar up? That's changing. If you talk to Deb, they are looking into 61A because it is hurting farmers. But I go back to, and I guess I just don't understand, so if I'm going to lose my land because I can't afford to pay the taxes, mm -hmm. You allow me to put solar on it, I don't lose it, or I'm going to sell it off to a, um, oh, a construction developer. person, a developer, who's going to put a major subdivision on there. And if, if I could stop you, though, when you sign up for 61A, it clearly states change of use. Will? Right. Pull it out. So Absolutely. you knew it going into it. But what I'm saying, I, I don't think I'm being clear, is that to the landowner who's been paying taxes on their land for forever and ever. Mm -hmm. They're the large parcel landowner. The abutter, who owns an acre and a half, is typically the one in here the loudest against any development on that land because they don't want to lose the serenity that they've been experiencing. No. But they're not paying for the serenity. The landowner that owns the 100 acres has been paying for the serenity mm -hmm. all along. And I just, 
I have to say, I have a very, I, and I've always struggled with this um, sitting on the EDC and now the planning board. Um, I've always had taken issue with the, the, someone being able to tell that landowner <coughs> they're not looking to put up some large industrial building, they're not looking to put up some mega warehouse, they're not looking to put up anything that's going to hurt the town per se or hurt the abutter. Why should we as the town get to tell that landowner? who, and Charlton has more open parcels than most towns, which is why we have more solar. It's not just because everyone loves solar in Charlton, it's because we have the old farms. We have the old landowners right. that have been struggling to pay their taxes because taxes keep going up. And we enjoy a lot of this serenity because they're willing to keep these parcels. Why is should we as a board support not allowing that landowner to do something that doesn't actually hurt that property? Okay, well there's a couple things if I could address. Absolutely. Um, first thing is it's now a power plant. Okay. It's not just passive, it's, it's manufacturing power. And it's good, we need alternative energy. Yes. But if you, when you talked about a, a homeowner having one acre, mm -hmm. do you know McDougal's property, 145 acres, pays $700 a year in taxes? Okay. My single family house on that little lot mm -hmm. pays $4,000 in taxes. Okay. So that whole argument for years been able to just we gave them such a break yes so taking it out of 61a is just a short term we pay back uh, years. four years, yeah, four or five years. Um, but Deb said they are changing it so they're getting help um, and then the third thing is you're taking land especially in the corridors that could have viable tax for the town re, re like uh, supermarkets, uh, Howlett Lumber, you're taking land in that corridor and you're tying it up for 20 years. But you don't own it. They do. So let them own it. Let them That's let fine, the landowner. But that's really not up to this board to discuss who and how much taxes they pay. Right. Seriously. So, but what you're doing is you're changing the town and I think we should at least allow it in different zones. We have 85% in agriculture. But you're also taking away many of the reasons why people move to town. I think the farmer does need help. They've been growing hay. That's all it seems to do. And it is a viable product. But I think there needs to be more help and not, we're not going to be able to give them that help. We need to, like in New Braintree, the same thing. The farmer said, we need help. Well, you've been paying very, very little taxes mm -hmm. in all these years. So you have benefited quite a bit. So it's not like you have been living there <coughs> and it's hurt you. Is what you're trying to say is why are we limiting? Because what if there's more than five people that want to put solar farms? Is that kind of your question? It is, and I guess I have always taken issue um, with someone who doesn't own land regulating. Again, if it was harmful, if we're looking at putting up commercial power plants or something, solar panels don't go to school. They don't take up resources. They don't hurt anybody. They're mm -hmm. not loud. If you have a solar panel next to you, sure, you might not like looking at it, but it's not going to party at night. It's not okay. going to have people over. And yes, that you're absolutely right. That farmer has been paying limited taxes. Well, good for them. Anybody mm -hmm. could have moved to town 20 years ago and bought a large parcel of land and no, paid limited taxes. Long, but. Um, but I just, I take serious, I personally, and I'm not speaking on behalf of the planet, well, but I'm speaking I mean, on behalf Roy, of me. Boy had a beautiful farm. I mean, mm -hmm. I sat on many boards. Yes. Boys. So. I can understand, and I think he'd be so bummed if he saw these farms gone. So um, I disagree yeah. completely. Um, if, if you're talking about my uncle or my grandfather, okay. Um, one of the things I, I don't—he's not here, and he—he won't be here. But um, his biggest issue, because we—I sat at his dining room table many, many times, and we discussed um, his one of his biggest issues, which is probably where I get it, is the town over-regulating landowners. Because he felt that once you were paying taxes on property, if you weren't going to hurt anybody, and again, I'm not mm -hmm. talking about going industrial into the middle of Carroll Hill Estates. I, I'm, that's not what I'm referring to. But I just, I know that's- I can respect your opinion, and, but I think we could go on all night about so, that opinion, so. So, <laughs> so the point of us um, uh, sponsoring articles is to get them to town meeting to let the majority of the um, people that show up to our town meeting to decide. So um, we have other things to talk about, marijuana, etc., etc. So, and my personal views often differ from 
what we sponsor to put in front of the voters. So my feel is that we have our public meeting, because we, we have to have a public hearing on this. We have our public hearing on this. I think definitely something has to be done. There's a lot of really ugly sol um, solar farms out there that need some regulation. I, um, I think we should put this, bring this to, have our public hearing, have, have the public come in and talk about it, figure out what we want to um, sponsor and uh, bring to town meeting, and then let them on the floor decide if they, if they say 30 is not enough, we, we want 50. We want, uh, 30 is too much, we don't want any more, we want 26. Let the residents decide and let them vote on it. Um, but again, we're here only tonight to just say, is this something that we want to sponsor to get in front of the residents to have them decide? And, and again, my personal opinion, I see, I see, I see both sides, um, and I just want to uh, follow our bylaws and make the decisions based on our bylaws. My opinion is kind of null and void when it comes to this stuff. I want to give them a um, a well thought about um, option to vote on, and then they can tweak it on the floor as they need to. That's my feeling. Yeah, and the the tweaking of the floor may or may not happen, and I and I caution Laurie about <coughs> reaching too far with this regulation to make it unappealing to a majority of the people. And if we can find something that we, 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 we know we need some regulations, we need better regulations. It might be good to adjust it a little bit so that it's passable and we get the regulations we want, the then to throw something right. at it. At, at, so I think we also have to, to be careful because most of, there's a lot of people that are so involved mm -hmm. that have solar, a lot of people are and that's what I had yep. said at yep. the moratorium, how difficult it was. Because I'm, you know, I respect a lot of these people. I grew up here. I know them all. But most of them have already taken advantage of it. And we're not talking like we only have five, and we're trying to only go to 15. We have 25. Uh, Pittsburgh was all steel. And what happened when the steel market tanked? Pittsburgh died. Charlton only has solar. And this technology changes fields don't upgrade with the rest, you could have a big, ugly mess of cadmium-lined panels and no woods left. So, so last night, the Solar by Law Committee was supposed to meet, but wasn't able to because we didn't have a quorum. So they're going to meet next week to finalize this draft and then to it. submit it to you as, as sort of their recommendation of the planning work, and then you have the ability to modify it before it goes to public hearing. Well, with, so the pub with, with the public, too, we can bring it to public hearing and it obviously modify it during our you hearing could, with yes. residents in Absolutely. Play. And um, I was hoping to have like a, you know, this is how they're spread out around town. Okay. Um, I've met with Kurt and we talked over um, fencing heights, panel heights. They run the gamut because there were no regulations. Yep. Right. Yep. And the DOER yep. said that's why Charlton has so many because it was permitted across the board and we had, you know, lots of land and three phase power and they swooped in really quick before anybody noticed. And we honestly thought we had very little oversight. Um, Agreed. To be, to be honest. Yeah, I remember um, that. And I did too, because it was two or three years ago I was here and, and mm -hmm. concerned about a historical road. Yes. And, and Alan said nothing we could do. Right. But as we learned, there, we have, you know, we've requested better fencing. Yes. Um, just larger trees. Mm -hmm. The trees don't cost more mm -hmm. to go a little larger. Right. It's somewhat cheaper. Oh, I think regulation definitely is the way. I, I definitely uh, think we need better regulations. And I think, yeah, I, I think I drive would, around town. I, I would think, that to both of your points, the land is the landowner's land. He should be able to determine what he wants to do mm -hmm. with that. And having developed many solar fields, there's, if you had a viable laundry list of of solves for any potential future mm -hmm. uh, solar developer that would just throw it out here. We develop a solar field as a flag test. Put a berm up, put a fence, you drive by it. And nobody can see it from the outside, mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. of the, the people, any of mm -hmm. the neighbors, any of that. Exactly. It's yes. fine. It's good. Yeah, we've been it's very lucky. That's good. what I said. It's but there's, just a, there's a laundry list of remedies you could, mm -hmm. could. To hide. Sure. Well, to hide and mm -hmm. to present with this, so it's okay. and I think a lot of that's in there, the, the buffers and the wooden buffers. And that was and how this all started, yeah. is 
watching people, and, and you know, we'd only affected a couple at a time, and we'd leave them in tears because they would clear right up to the property boundary. And sure, you may have trees to buffer it, but they're your trees. Mm -hmm. So in essence, they stole the use of your land. Yep. So, you know, there's, everyone wants their own piece. Yep. Yeah, what they the landowner should be able to clear up to the edge of his land that's and correct. still not see. And that's what we put in here. The, the neighbors. And we haven't had that. that. That's that's. But you know, and, but in southeastern Massachusetts, the really cranberry bogs, and this is the only reason why the cranberry owners can still manage to stay in business is to pay the taxes to offset the tax because the cranberry harvest has gone so so south with mm -hmm. Quebec. That's right. So they dedicate an older the section of their cranberry bog and put solar up, and it, and it's a bit, and it works well for them. You know? So in here, it, uh, we were had res um, members concerned about the clear cutting of the trees. Um, it seems counterproductive to solar. Uh, a lot of towns do a percent build out, just like um, at the BGG parcel, the 25 percent build out. They were upping it to 30 and not including the field, so it could go in the field, but if they're going to come in and clear cut thick forest, then the parcel would be somewhat limited. And other towns have done that as well, and it's passed and gone through the AG. No, not to create this too long, but out of, and I'm just throwing it out there for when you guys write the bill up officially, as a landowner, I can clear cut right up until my property line. I can then go in and say, okay, now I want to put solar up, and exactly. I've already yeah, we cut. did. We threw that out too. So I mean, it's to possible. put it in as I, I'm just, it I, you don't if you're going to make it go through, what you don't want to do is turn off all the major all the big landowners, and if they see the thirty percent, just know that they can they can do that anyway. With that's right. right. They, they get the permit. And yeah, we kind of did devil's advocate. Okay. Um, but what we were also doing is throwing out and seeing what sticks. Okay, fair enough. To have it all out. So. And we can do it so we have a lot of discretion. So, um, special, can we do a special permit? Actually, if you go to the last right. page, um, because you'll see the use. It's common sense sometimes. The use table? Yeah, the use mm -hmm. table is what we, and that was, we sat around two meetings to talk about you're going to address agriculture, the, I mean, the zoning, because we have so much in um, So we want a little more control for you in, by doing special permit instead of just as of right everywhere, special permit. So I didn't think that, that, was, that we could do that. So oh that's, gosh. The ch that's the change. Um, in Dudley, they, they have an overlay district, and that's it. It's, uh, some towns in, allow it in industrial general only. Not in, you know, and we have so much in our 40 that it's, well, we'll see. We'll see. So it's pretty much when you have this many. Um, I, mean, I think the majority would be in agricultural. I mean, yeah, we, we tried to keep the, the corridor for business, business, so we don't tie up a parcel of land that we could have services on because everybody in town wants services. So. It, it, and it's very limited anyway, so community business is so small. There's one at Richardson's Corner in community business. Uh, the village district was a little uh, iffy. Uh, Masonic Home is grandfathered, but they wanted village district to have services for their residents. Mm -hmm. So that's why the village district was going, like, apparently going down Burlingame Road. Um, <clears throat> so we put that it's not allowed in there, knowing Masonic Home is grandfathered. So it's not going to affect. Not much in there anyway. No. And that was it. We, you know, it's, we don't want to see it in, in the village, the heart of Charlton, which sure. years ago when I was on ETC, we had talked about having the heart of Charlton going yes. from Howlett yes. down to the center, walking trails, and that would be where we're going to hopefully have more services. So if you look at the use table, that's what we did. So allowed everywhere, agricultural. Um, oh, not allowed, sorry, village, neighborhood business, R40. That looks a little different, can we, can we change that? No, I think that's what we, Okay. Yeah. anyway, so. That's how we left it. Um, the bonds are a big thing. Our bonds were a little bit all, a little willy-nilly. So mm -hmm. on 
some engineers had the, the cost of uh, the recycling wash any, uh, so it was like a wash, whatever they made on recycling paid for the labor and all to Sure, take how do we it know down. recycling is still going to happen? And that's, sure. that's it. And on another one, they had no say on it. There was nothing listed in hazardous waste. The glass panels cannot be recycled. They have cadmium on them, even glass bottles that we use every day. So we're going to take out any recycled. We, yeah, and Bill said that we were like, well, some of it's a commodity and, and it's going to change and it's going to be a, a changing every year with the bonds. So we decided just they cannot figure in recycling. We okay. just don't know. Yep. As long as yep. everybody can. Then. Um, that made sense. And then to put a little bit more power in the departments in the town hall, um, I asked the treasurer for her input. She gets to choose what form the bond takes, whether it's a, a, sur a cash bond mm -hmm. or a line of credit. Because mm -hmm. um, if that company goes belly up, a, and a, a, a court could come mm -hmm. in and just say, take it, and then evenly distribute it among all creditors. So That's it's really true, a false it? sense. What? That's not really true. Remember we had the, the, it was the lawsuit. Was it with Alan? Do you guys remember back then when there was a lawsuit? Yes. And we actually had to, we had a petition. We had we took what we needed out of it before we gave the rest back. Well, did that company claim bankruptcy? Is that why? Because the court is the one. If that, uh, you know, say Zero Point owns this field and they go belly up, um, if they owe twenty people money, the court could say, "Well, we'll take that from Charlton." Yeah. We fought, and the court did yeah, say the that, 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 that since it was for this. For, for they, but again, it's it's. Our court costs, right. and we have to pay for that. So what I did is the bond has to be in a form acceptable to the treasurer. Okay. So then the treasurer is also aware that if that field gets sold, we need another bond right away. Uh, and then I had the assessors look. They, um, and I guess Robin are against pilot agreements, and I assured them that based on Bill's verbiage, hopefully that would pass, that mm -hmm. it's only if they don't, um, pay their the taxes that are due. Their fair share. Mm -hmm. Their fair share. And, and they went into it knowing that they yep. had to pay these taxes. Yep. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like all of a sudden everyone was surprised. There's so much money in that we give solar that I think it's up to that landowner to get the solar company to pay the taxes. And that's a problem. Um, so we're just trying to get the whole town hall involved. And then I suggested to the select Can we make that a condition? Is that something that we can make a condition? It's actually in here yeah, to say yeah. that if there's any change, um, the assessor's office, if, if, or if they go to sell, because they become a community solar, because um, the one on Sampson Road, the town of Westford buys it, and the perfect school for the blind buys their virtual energy. So therefore, it's not taxable. And so from what it, I understand, yeah, the solar company pays the taxes. That's the other incentive to the landowner is that they don't have to pay taxes on anywhere where the solar panel sits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so uh, I, I, apparently there's there's a field that the verbiage and the attorneys didn't do that, and the landowner's getting stuck. But they're probably early on, it. right yeah. before they knew that that was a thing. So, unfortunately. So. Um, Back to the uh, report Kurt made with all the megawatts in the fields that are in that look like this. I had suggested that this be put in uh, an Excel spreadsheet, maybe in a program like Dropbox. I don't think you have this. Yep, this yep, okay. Maybe you do. Um, in Dropbox, where there's you know one person that has the key holder, but if you want to go on here and or Kurt wants to see who's coming up, or the assessors want to see who went online, because that changes. Yep. You can all go to one place, because it's it's a lot of work for all the employees to handle, you know, 25 plus, when the bonds have to be looked at every year. It's an awful burden. And if it has to come out of 60 1A, and it didn't, and all of a sudden a building permit's issued, and we've had that happen. So. Um, it's just, I think it'll make the work easier than, than this. On, uh, on page 7, we added the section for special permit criteria. 
So as you know, special permits are discretionary, mm -hmm. and you have the ability to deny them if, if you feel they're not appropriate for the town. And number three, we added, the applicant has provided a means to assure the town receives revenue based upon the full valuation of the system as determined by the Board of Assessors. So you can impose that as a condition of the approval, that even if they, so that they wouldn't be able to go for the exemption um, from taxes because you would have required them in your approval to pay the taxes. So hopefully we can get around that that problem that mm -hmm. the town is. You know the towns have been doing that and it's been approved by the AG? No, we this that one's may new. Be new. <laughs> that one's but new. We, but the uh, AG's been quite put supportive. It in. You, when you figure we've already given a lot of our tax monies through the program. Yep. Solar in general, the green energy credits, mm -hmm. all these DOER incentives are paid for by us. Mm -hmm. Um, and then here we are, they're getting a break more. So I think we give them so much money for solar to begin with that um, when land is developed and there's a change of use, we should get our fair share. So what's the typical bur building permit that they need to pull from on these projects? Is it a couple it million dollars? Yeah, yeah. all right, so mm -hmm. there's some upfront money paid to the town. Yeah, and there's electrical that. permits and so it's A couple million? That it pays the town? No, what oh. the cost is. Oh. Okay, the cost for the construction cost. Oh. The construction cost. Oh. Okay. Construction cost. And then but not the permanent cost. The permanent right, the yeah, cost. Yeah, it sounds like it's yeah. yeah. The cost. Yeah. Is it based on the percentage of the cost of the <laughs> project, or is it based on? It's a fee per thousand, I think. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. So, Laurie, I noticed that, and, and I haven't looked at this, but the other day you didn't address canopy structures. No, because um, okay. canopy is, uh, I actually wrote Durant and then I spoke at that meeting to the DOER and said, could you please help out rural Massachusetts by the next, uh, I guess blockade is all full, so the money's, it's done. They're waiting for the next program to roll out. So mm -hmm. could you please consider holding back money for ground mount? Because we're, we're flooded here, give us mm -hmm. a break push some of that money to canopy, because it costs more to do canopy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have no stormwater management issues, because parking lots have already done it. Sure. And as far as some uh, people say, well, it's too hard to plow under them. No, if you look at UMass, at um, REI and Natick, it actually helps really? the cars. It's like having sure. a garage. Yeah. And it's tipped enough where it's very easy to clear snow. In California, they pay a premium to underneath them because it keeps the cars cool. Cars cool. So I'm saying, hey, enough already. We're it's only hurting us. It doesn't hurt Boston. Let's start putting these canopies on malls, school parking lots, because that then it costs more. So sure. let's they they've gone after the low fruit and that's all of us. So next meeting then you we should be ready to submit the final draft. Yeah. Yeah and board. I did say I'd take notes and any concerns that the board had I would come it's hard for me not to get personal because I've been living this for over a year between sitting in here and and I love this town so I, uh, I just hate to see how it's, it's okay any, any other no I think that we should definitely have we should definitely sponsor this we should have a public hearing and get some input from the locals um, is there anything that we can sometimes I feel like um, people don't know that they have the ability unless it's something that specifically involves them. Can we do some sort of, um, I, don't, I don't know how we advertise, to kind of let every, mean? like to kind of let everybody know to come if you- the if electric you, sign board. Perfect. perfect. Oh, right, and maybe, maybe they could put it, in, Mary could put it on the sign <laughs> oh, across the street. Because yeah. yeah. we had our informational session, I only had one email, and then it was, yeah, and that was it. <laughs> um, so no. no one's really. Is, is this draft on the line? No, no, we, no, okay. no. Okay. We, we took off the first one after the information <coughs> session. <coughs> um, and then if I if I can, if you have anything, you know, because of public open meeting and all, you can send a question to me or a comment. We won't discuss it, and I'll bring it to Tuesday's meeting. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. If you think of something in, in what you're yep. reading we'll and want to make suggestions. We'll send you suggestions individually. And then um, I, if you could look at the draft that I put for a large battery storage 
We have that. Yeah. So, so in, in there you've got no for agriculture too, and that's different than than the solar um, and CB also. Yeah, it's different than solar only in that it it's just like putting up storage containers that are on Route 20 or uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Gothier's on on Brookfield. I think. It, but but we do have some large lots that. And agricultural land that aren't viewable from the neighbors or True. from the streets, and, mm -hmm. and it's well, been yeah, that's properly just, screened. So, possibly special permit there, and, and there after the discretion. Perfect. But, okay. And then um, I know next year you're going to be looking at zoning all over town. Yeah. So I I was trying to look at let's just make it as broad, paint with a broad brush, and you guys would get into the nitty gritty. I like the special permit because then you can really give it like the human discretion that it needs, mm -hmm. the common sense kind of check. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. perfect, you know, in the middle of nowhere, and sometimes, you know, it's not it happens to be right. a neighbor, you know, that's... Yeah, and, the, and there is some sound with them, you know, even with solar, <coughs> it hums. Yep. So depending on the, how yeah, close it is, is the, and that stuff the, you can yeah. look at. Does the energy storage and the solar have to be different? Is it one They can button? be different, yeah. Do, do one's accessory, and one could be the sole purpose of the property in it could be miles away from any solar. It could be something um, like a, a company could put an energy storage system at their facility to store energy. So we would want to... I believe they're mm -hmm. going to be at the liquid natural gas mentioned that they would store excess when I went to that hearing on the big one mm -hmm. that was going to mm -hmm. be on 20 that's going to 169 now. So it is, and mm -hmm. it, there's lots of money in it, so mm -hmm. we're going to see them because that's where the DOER has the money, and that's what dictates it. So, mm -hmm. anyway, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you Laura, for the hard work. So, do we have to vote to actually have a public hearing on yeah. these, or do we just now, do, do we wait and, do, um, and Well, I think vote? we should decide which ones we want to advance. Yep. So, we know we're going to go with the solar bylaw, and we should talk about whether you want to bring forward a battery storage uh, yeah. line item to the use table. Does the, does the board want to um, want to think about that now? Um, I know that we're going to do a complete overhaul. That's mm -hmm. our plan, and I assume that, I didn't even see it on the budget, I assume we're going to get funded for that. Um, that's in the capital budget, which I don't have yet. Okay, so so I, I assume that that's a, it's a necessary thing. Um, do we want to add the battery one? to protect us in the meantime, just so we don't get everything everywhere and not have some control. I think it can't hurt. Um, and then, can't and then hurt. when we, I mean, obviously we're gonna have a public hearing and we'll, we'll oh. tweak things to what, mm -hmm. um, you know, best suits the town, but, mm -hmm. and okay. then if we change it, we change it after. If we have a consultant in here that says, this is what, you know, we recommend this, mm -hmm. then we'll mm -hmm. do it. So we'll put both of these. Okay, good. I don't know if, if we have to vote to, do that or but uh, uh, or do we can not until we we don't have the final one yet. Right, so, so I, I think we've got time there. But I'll just let the selections office know that we will have an a placeholder for this issue. You know this yep. placeholder right. for that. Yep. Um, okay. So the next is the um, to amend the fi the the violations. We have um, fifty dollars and the state max is three hundred. It makes sense just to go up to the state max if somebody is in violation of um, they might as well be paying the full amount. Yep, I agree. Okay, so we'll add that. Okay. Um, okay, our site plan review process. Um, it's very odd because I looked at every all of our neighboring um, towns. Our site plan review process has we have to have final. Um, we have to vote 90 days once the hearing opens. And in everywhere else in the whole universe. It should be once it closes. Once it clo you have 90 mm -hmm. days once it closes. It, it seems odd, but I wonder if it was some sort of mistake that we made because everybody else has it after. Mm -hmm. it now you can assume that. What, that. That's the way it was right, written it? when I. It's, when yeah. it's, it's yeah. an easy yeah. change. But it's yeah, in line I would agree. So it's, it's on the, uh, the final, I'll just change the initial to final, right? right? Final date of public hearing. Yep, that's a one word change. Right. Change initial to final. Right. Um, um, last 
town meeting, the selectmen voted to um, sponsor or support the marijuana ban, and then remember it never got to us in time for us to have the hearing. I am so confused by this marijuana ban. So the selectmen currently, are in, and correct anything I'm about to say, so the selectmen vote for a marijuana ban. But then they vote not to, well, they decide to stall and not give us an attorney because they want BGG to be able to come in. And we've been voting in marijuana facilities that we have all agreed the ones that are coming in are coming into nice places. They're going to be well out of the way. Nobody will even know they exist. So and I, how did a marijuana ban get back on the um, by, uh, how did we get here? I guess is what I'm asking. Um, it was it was something that they wanted us to do. They voted um, uh, unanimously. So to, to appease town me members and citizens. and multiple yeah. people have come to me and said, you know, blah blah blah. Why haven't you you know done this? And again, it was a unanimous vote by the board of selectmen. I and I'm not saying that I personally support it or no, I know. No. I'm I just confused by it. I. I think mm -hmm. that we were supposed to hear it, and we just never had time due, okay. due to, due to the plan this is, constraints. Yeah, the plan is to hear it and give the townspeople their yeah, vote. I just, give them I, the opportunity I if that's what the they want. I want to then. decide what they want, and whatever they want, yeah. I will. And it and it needs mm -hmm. to be a two-thirds, because it's a zoning That's band. what I thought. Yeah, because I thought right? it failed Because one it's time. a zoning ban, yes. it needs to be two-thirds. There's already a general bylaw ban. Sure. And the general passed. bylaw passed by a majority. Mm -hmm. The general bylaw passed. Yes. So, so the, as a so majority, it which just is needs, not two-thirds. It just needs a ballot vote to be kind of ratified, I guess. Yep. Yep. This kind of goes along with the town. They already voted for this. Um, so depending on what the judge says on that, sure. this, but again, the residents want it. And yep. We, yep. I, I was elected by the residents, so I'm. I, um, I, I, this zoning ban would be contingent upon there being a ballot vote, because you need to have both. Okay, I, I thought that. I thought, would, so. I thought Okay. So if it's not a, a question on the ballot, then this zoning ban would not go. Would not See, I was under the impression that you needed a, uh, a a town meeting vote and a ballot vote. Yeah. Yeah. So the general bylaw was a town meeting vote. There so is this a is a zoning bylaw. Is sufficient. I don't. What's that? There's a question whether the general bylaw is sufficient um, for the bylaw part of it. Okay. Okay. And that's in court right now. Okay. And if the judge says yes, that's okay, then the ballot question would would be the second piece that would okay. implement. Okay, and that's the still a majority. And this will be the same thing when that ballot. Okay. Yes. I mean, okay. I, mean I, I I have no problem putting this forward. Um, I don't let the, either. Let the town's people no. have a vote. I I question whether it would get two thirds. I I doubt I it would. Think, yeah. But uh, I have no problem putting it forward. And it would be only that. recreational, by the way. If you can't, oh, you can't okay. ban yeah. medical marijuana, that's okay. not possible. Thank, Thank you. you. you would I did not realize that recreational. Yep. Okay. Um, so again, whether we personally support it or don't, I, I just believe that the, the town should have the ability to vote and then we make decisions based on the rules that they voted on. It's just how it works. Um, and we don't have any recreational in the pipeline right now anyway, do we? Everything's medicinal. Are you talking grow or? Um, I know f anything. I so you can't even vote to, to go be able to sell the okay. recreation. So this, so Gina, uh, Gina's asked the question. So if there is a recreational ban, then you can't even grow Recreational marijuana, you only can grow medical marijuana. So, you're talking about even okay. So, in the state of Massachusetts, the state of Mass has um, said that it is okay for an individual person to grow marijuana on their own. Six mm -hmm. plants, I believe it is. But if a recreational ban goes into place, then that is negated and you would no. No, no, that's, no they, they, still they still have them first. Okay. 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 I just want to make sure I Unless you want to be the police retail, officer that well, goes to everybody's house. Yeah, I guess, I guess you want to say retail. Thank you. Right. So it's yeah. adult so use retail. Not just retail; it's growing too. Well, right. uh, growing for adult use retail. How do you know? Okay. Yeah. Only there's, because if someone asks me, I want to be very, able to talk about it. There's very, very specific. There's very specific methods and growth and and um, I guess compliance. If okay. that makes any sense, whether you do um, uh, recreational okay. versus medical, oh. it's totally different um, types, strains. I'm not a professional, but it's it's. Really? It's very different. So what this will do is it'll, so for example, okay. um, four score will need to only grow medical if this. Okay. Yep. 
I agree with John. Let's let the town people vote it. I'm I'm good with whatever they want, yeah. and I I'll make my decisions based yeah. on our bylaws. And, 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 and I, I say we put it through just like the the board of selectmen wrote it up for the last time. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, we'll have a hearing the on it because mm -hmm. the only thing uh, this was going to go, we just didn't have time for a, right. a mm -hmm. hearing it before. Right. The there time. wasn't the, the, the allotted enough. time that we needed, so I'd say let's do it now. Um, next, so the I keep on saying power plants, but I guess it's not power plants. In our, if you look, we have a letter from um, Kristen Kostijan, who uh, who summarizes yes. um, in an awesome way, like all highlighted and everything, um, to. It's about what well, the natural gas distribution, um, electric distribution stations, mm -hmm. and where we allow them. And pretty much they're allowed everywhere except mm -hmm. for the village district. And no other towns do that. No, I too. think industrial is the way to go. So it, it makes sense to me, these kind of systems. It's, it is my opinion that they should go on industrial. But talk is about it. And, <clears throat> Is there some legal requirement um, that we're not we talking need about to? public utilities here? Okay. We're talking about okay. public utilities are off the table. <laughs> are you referring to line S in particular? Like any public, right? The well, they're they're talking about M. Which line are you referring M to? M or S? Natural gas distribution or electric distribution? So M, M and S. M is an electric distribution stations. Yep, so and substations. It's not a power plant, it's just a substation. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. And, and so that's permitted in all districts except village as a site plan review. So what is an electric distribution station or substation? Um what's the nearest one that I get? Well it's it's usually something that has banks of transformers that take power off and, and transform the power from from a certain voltage to another. How big are they? Um they can be quite large. They can be quite large. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could we special permit instead so that way it really Special, really special permit in, in A and yeah. R40 and the R zones? Yeah. I think that would make more sense um, and allow it in CBIG and, yep. and BP. Okay. Or do you want to do an SP and CB also? Let's do SP across the board okay. and then do allowed in industrial. <coughs> you, just do, you want to do allowed in industrial? Yeah. And village, uh, SP or in? Um, where the village is so small, <laughs> it, it, you know, there's not a lot of room up there. Actually, really, it's it's not that small. You, it's quite. Let's you keep. Large, let's. Yeah. Well, that's right. It goes down ago. to the yeah, post office. Let's keep things out of the, yeah. out of the district. Area. We have a. We, there's a, a. There's plenty of other places. Common goal for the for the village, village district yes. and to make it villagey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And a big electric station probably isn't what we want to have. <laughs> Um, when I take yeah. my kids that's and for a walk, and like, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll do, during old home day, you don't want to waver the big power station. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was that permitted just for the like national grid to put on the substation yes. anywhere mm -hmm. they fe felt need yeah. be? Right? Mm -hmm. And where it is a public utility or, or a private utility, is, is are we governed by any the mass, public mass laws? We, they can override the they local can override anything, Okay, so, so this is really not stopping. It, it's, right. it's, there's not many individual substations out right. there, right. Um, or, or you know, you know distribution systems. I, I I tried to start one up one time. No, right. <laughs> you were denied. But my <laughs> nine volt battery ran out. <laughs> So again, we I mean, can we can do that. I don't see any I, problem I with not doing it. I think it's a good idea. From the future for something. Yes. So that's for the electric, and then we have the natural gas distribution. Um, again, the I mean, oh, clearly an IG. That, but um, do you think is going to be ever an instance that in IG we wouldn't want a natural gas distribution? Should we have a special yeah, permit? No, special permit. It doesn't hurt to do right. it. Yep. Yep. It only protects us. Yep. So special permit across yeah. so the board. And that's a good idea. And then no for a village yeah. because mm -hmm. we just want to, again, um, we'll address the master plan soon, but right. I think we should. So we'll put that on the warrant article too. Mm -hmm. So that's a f pretty full agenda uh, of zoning changes this town meeting for the planning board. Yep. Um, we have yes, we we to do And we may have to deal with the, 
this week and not. It's under Warren Articles. Yep. But the so the budget it shows the planner salary at seventy eight, but actually we have seventy eight plus the five increase once he passes the exam. Um, and at the last time meeting we were given ninety two. Yes. So it's just odd for it to be changed. And I'm I'm not sure what standard. Usually it just stays and then there's money left over and it's put back into the general fund later. Mm -hmm. um, I did speak with Donna Folio today. She said that the five thousand dollar increase will be there once he earns it. So okay. I don't know why they don't show show that. So we can just magically way, move money around when we want to. Is that? Um, I'm not sure how it works, but when will the official budget that. come out? Pardon? I well, also the official I'm, budget I'm is I'm not out yet. Vain. There was a sheet that went around today for the board to attend one of the finance meetings. So I just. Pick the date for you, but we, we can change it if Perfect. you like. Okay. That was March 20th. And we can address that at, at there. Okay. And okay. you have a, a hearing, uh, excuse me, the, a plan going meeting that evening at oh, 7. Perfect. So I figured perfect. you could go at 6 perfect. 30. Awesome, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And at that time, if forgive my ignorance, we'll be able to go there and address the fact that we want the salary line item to be bumped up. Is it correct? You, you and then so. when the official budget comes out, it should be reflected as such. Right. Okay. Yeah. If they give if they approve it. Right. Um, do we have to post if well then? Yeah. Yes. So can we make sure we post for that? Just mm -hmm. if more than um, if two months ago. I think it's yeah. yeah. more. Yeah. I think it's many what was the date on that though? March twentieth. March twentieth, which is a regular meeting night. Yeah. Okay. At six thirty. Half right. an hour is going to be enough. What if they're running behind? Excuse me. Half an hour is going to be enough. They, I think that was the, the amount of time allotted on the sheet per board. We'll, we'll get there well on it. We'll what time do their meetings start, though? I think it's 6.30. Okay, so I think I, the that's all, yeah. Right. So, if anything, we'll bump everybody else out with you. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. So that's what what we had for more articles. Is there anything Perfect. else that you guys came up with that you wanted to also talk about? That, that's all right. Um, okay. Again, there's... I, what I did was I printed out the Grafton bylaws because mm -hmm. they're actually pretty great and they were just overhauled. So last year they did that nice. complete overhaul thing. Okay. Um, and I pretty much went page for page with ours. And there's a lot of stuff in there that it's just more, more it's, it's more articulate, it's, it's mm -hmm. sure. more detailed, and it seems much more sensitive for residents. Um, so, so we're going to do an overhaul. We're going to so do that. So there's lots of, lots of things, but when when we do that, it's you know it, it doesn't hurt to grab another oh, absolutely. town and see yes. what the or know, a couple towns right right to why reinvent what, the wheel right and what they have and I know we're going to have a consultant and help mm -hmm. us but I agree. sometimes they don't understand I mean we understand Charlton Correct. so by being able to bring more to the table and yep. be more knowledgeable um, you know, for your two a.m. reading is perfect <laughs> um, so that's good so we can look at that yep perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I, so I think to put it on this agenda is, is probably too much. I think we've got a lot on here for, for more articles. Um, I know most people like to get out of town meeting before midnight. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or 2 a.m. Or 2 a.m. Now, next we have the response to the um, oh, no. Oh, no. violation. Mm -hmm. um, complaint, not a violation. Um, so. Uh, did you guys get a chance oh, to read yes. these? I, I did, and I think it, it, it's a very good job. They were, they were written very, very well. Um, very, they're perfect. I've got some reviews to write at work. I borrow yeah. your time. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. Very well articulated, um, truly. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I was like, oh, they feel that way about me. Like, oh, they love me. No. Um, so if we're happy very we'll, much so. we'll sign them and get them yes. um, sent out and then see what we get for our response sounds fabulous okay. do we have to vote to sign them or we, uh, I was yeah. well I, um, I put signature oh, we have all for all of them so I think yeah. is this the original that I have right here uh, <laughs> I think so <laughs> I will make a motion to That's accept color, so. um, the open meeting violation letter that Bill wrote sign it and submit letters. it Letters, thank you. Second? I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
So here's the signed. There are two letters they have to sign, both of them. Can we email these back to the people? Oh, and also to the office and then follow up with higher copy? I don't see why not. We're going to leave that to Jane to, to make sure they're distributed. Just so we meet, meet, meet all our deadlines and everything, and we have, you know, we're sure that they are. Right. So right. it home yeah. Yeah. Their addresses uh, are in there, and, and, I, and we do copy the attorney general's office. Print in mm -hmm. everyone's mm -hmm. name based on their address. Yep, there's a, um, a main email address, um, and if you need me to send that to you, I'll yeah, send that to you. Yeah, I, I, I do that on, on, on a lot of them. It's and probably it's right on the, e the, I think so, the description of the front. If you if you look at the the actual complaint, they actually have a um, okay of the instructions kind of of how to handle it. Yeah, the email address. It was comment. absolutely okay. fabulous. Would you go? Hawaii. Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm just okay. jealous. Where'd you go? We went to Oahu as well as the main island, oh, yeah. and it was, was once oh, no, we got to the main sorry, island, sorry. it was Question. 80 degrees. Yeah, no, I'll send it, it was breezy. Oh, I got a sunburn because you know I thought that <laughs> even no, though I've never yeah. been able to tan Hawaii, well, let's look at the instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 We'll make sure that I could not. I could certify that the kids had a blast. We ziplined. We swam with dolphins. Blew out. We have discussed the agenda format. Oh. Long travel. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's great. That's a so good experience for them. Oh, that's nice. It's something. Yeah. Yeah. Anything yeah. that you want to change? Although I told my kids you're not going to Hawaii with me. Are you guys, are we happy with the open forum? No. I mean, <laughs> uh, so, what, I guess I don't understand the question. So, when we were in, went to the training, yep. we were, we were, we're we were told that the the open forum is something that's a good thing to have. Like so it's a lot meant to have the open and forum. And I think that we certainly have to be um, a little more um, we pay, pay a little more attention to the amount of time that open forum takes because yes. it, it it can get crazy and, and and I think I I personally let people talk too long. Because I want them to express it. You elected me. Tell me what you want. I want to. I want to help you. But I think with the open forum, we need to maybe keep it three to five minutes max, sure. and then say, okay, great, that's wonderful. Let's get you on our next agenda. Yep. Um, and if they knew that, they'd probably come in with bullet points as opposed to conversation. So we'll. If we set that precedent ahead so of time, we don't have to keep it. So we don't have to. Or the other thing, it. the other thing that we we should avoid is interacting a lot of back and forth. Right. If, if exactly. we listen to grievances or listen to complaints, right. if it's something that needs to go on a future agenda meeting, we can schedule Pretty that, say thank you. Mm -hmm. thank we're you we're done with that for now, but we're going to schedule for this board, board we'll and then we'll, we'll, we'll make some time. Kind of thing, like, yes, or refer right. them to the Board of Health, the but police not, chief. But not to go back and, and, and answer their questions and, and get in the long conversation, because okay. that's what draws it out. Yeah, like a disclaimer or a statement before it even opened and just let them know. It's like this is a procedure to... Yeah, this is... This is this just is, to, you know, yeah, to get some information or, or ask a question, ask a question three to five minutes. Are there needs? Because a lot of people don't really know that there's a process of that's correct. going, of, right? You know, to submit, and as we, submit a request. You know, as it. we get better at kind of, run, you know, people will know more and we'll get mm -hmm. into it. And, and we all just went to the training, and, and we're trying to kind of get to the place where we're doing everything right, and we're getting there, and we'll get better at mm -hmm. it. But I think it's a good idea. I mean, I like it. It, it I, opens us mm -hmm. up to questions that may be uncomfortable. But we can always say we don't know the answer if we don't know the answer. Um, but again, we're here. We're elected for a reason, and it's great to have complete control of everything that happens at your meetings. Um, but it's I think that letting people have the chance to. Um, it's hard to get up and speak, so let them. It is, and I completely agree. But I think what we need to be better at, and I'm not um, accusing anyone is just being better at staying on task and staying to time. Because I don't feel that it's fair that they go on for 15 minutes and now I'm here till 11 o'clock at night. And we're giving up a lot of time. We, we keep adding meetings and we go later and later and then we go to these sub-meetings and everything. And I'm happy to do it, but at some point it's too much. Would it feel better if you had a $1,200 stipend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, it would. I, I was so actually sorry. having that discussion today. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a little bit easier to swallow. 
quite frankly. Our board is not, I mean, every board is a little bit different. And open forum for selectmen, I can sort of see it, okay? Because they are the fathers of the town and everything. Um, other boards, you have an agenda, it's set what you're going to do, what you're going to hear. If somebody wants to come before this board, they should call up the office and ask mm -hmm. to be put on the agenda. That's true. That's and true. that way they, they have, have a yeah. time and Fair. a date that they're going to come in. Um, and an I, expected time, because they can say, I'm going to need about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And, um, you know, not all boards, like I said, are the same. More boards, some boards can utilize the open forum, some boards shouldn't. Okay. Um, that's just my feeling, but I can also understand if you're going to have an open forum, the other thing is, do you put it at the beginning of your meeting? I'm just, do you put I'm it just going to ask that. I think yeah. they okay. need to have, I think we need to m mesh it in, say, you know, like <coughs> with here, the meeting starts at 7, but we actually start, our, we, we had like we had a real agenda item at 7, 10. I think that the first 10 minutes we could add open forum, and that way we can have our, you know, reviewing minutes, we can <coughs> do our meal and stuff and kind of mesh it in, and then pretty much you know, fill things that aren't, we, we don't have to be, it, no public hearings with timelines. We can fill in the blank with other things, A and R's. To um, devil's advocate, my only concern would be, let's say that you have 20 people in the audience that right. want to speak. You have allotted 10 minutes. You've given each of them, say, two, three minutes. We'll be real conservative. You're going to miss out on more than half of the group, and now you're going to have people complaining that they weren't allowed to speak. What about then wait to the end and we'll pick you at the end? And... My only, only, only you concern if you, concern if you is have it a certain place on your agenda, it should be at that place. Yeah, on but your as, long as, as long as but it's later and not earlier, you're okay. You can table it and, and, and yeah. take it off the table again. You know, later. if there's somebody who's, you know, I'm, 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 and we, I'm, you know, sorry about yep. opening up. Yep. Not yep. Um, Again, we're, at, we're out of time. I, for I the see open what everybody, forum. I see what is in. being said. I just really am a huge advocate for when, when people actually have enough in their mind to come and show up at a meeting. And actually ask a question because it's hard to sit up there. It's hard. Of course it is. I mean, I've done it multiple times at the select at the you know at selectman's meeting, and it's still uncomfortable to get yes, up there I and agree. ask a question. So if they're going to come and we spend this their time, this is a selectman's meeting. Though. Right. I know. I know. Okay. There's not usually a million people here. Um, um, can we I try just, it for a couple of months and see how it goes? And, we and, if it's, and then we can always change it later and, and take it out. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's let's see what happens. I think that one let's see how it goes tonight. Right. If it if it goes quickly tonight, then we can. Hi. <laughs> yeah. um, so beginning of the meeting. So let's do it. Let's be very strict on the timeline. Absolutely. And once we get to the first, um, you know, seven, you know, maybe seven ten, we actually start at any, yep. you know, public hearing. And if hearing it's, and if it's something that we have coming up later in the night for for a public hearing or something, stop them and say, listen, that's that's coming exactly. up later. Hold it, mm -hmm. move on. And we'll see. Next. I mean, I think right now there's a lot of sensitive things going. I mean, yep. this. I mean, yes. Once this passes, we're lucky if we get two people at our meeting. Oh, we've had. I mean, it's been contentious for the last couple of years. Yeah, some, you know, but, um, I mean, the solar plants. But I mean, once there's a limit to solar, no. um, the, I mean, the solar things and that kind. I would suggest an asterisk underneath open forum that says open forum will be limited to 10 minutes. Each speaker will be limited to three minutes and will be timed. And that way you're going to put a timer on that table and it's not for personal reasons. It's so that if more than one person wants to speak and... And, and let's see how it goes. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think there's actually going to be that many people at... I would just, I'd rather err on the side of caution and put that out there so that way like, there's no one not can say... Have, let's not have open forum at our March 6th meeting. <laughs> I don't think we have time for that. Exactly. Okay, but how, how can you put it on one meeting and yeah. not on another yeah. meeting? You're just I, opening yourself yeah, to that just, you're, it, If we had an attorney to ask, we could ask if we could add it. Or yeah, not. But we, well, we, let's, let's, well, let's leave it on there for March 6th, but once again, yeah, let's limit it to 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes and that's it. And and we've that's all out. we've got. We, only have, we actually only have five minutes of public forum. <laughs> it's at 7 and then at 7.05 we, hear the, we have a hearing. So... Pretty much. I, I thought during our training, I, the reason for open forum was to get you out of trouble with open meeting laws, to have people be able to come and speak. And discuss something that needs to be talked about at, at that That's not urgent been time. put on the, the docket, and it, it's more of an informal way of then... Introducing uh, us and, to something. And, and introducing to us, and then they can get on the, the okay. agenda I, for the next I, meeting. I just feel like that residents should have a... a, yeah. a, a you know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm kind of 
sensitive with that. I always believe that they need to have a hair. But let's, right, I agree with John. Let's yeah. see how it goes. And we'll use it. I mean, if we'll we let have Jean to. take care of it. We'll if, if they want to, like, okay, right. You, if they have a, a, something that they want Give to get the off gavel. their chest, have them call up and get put on the yeah. agenda. Yeah. You know, that's. And let's face it, we get a lot of emails. People aren't afraid to reach out and say exactly. something. Exactly. <laughs> But I, I I don't know if it's on our our is it on the uh, website the pr procedure about getting onto the docket so. or onto oh. the agenda I don't, I don't do, do people do, know that they need, need to call add that to, yeah. to policy yes yeah. we have a policy. policy on that do we we have an open forum to get on the not on policy. the open forum just how to get on the agenda, on yeah. the agenda. Yeah. you call right. up yeah. the same thing we want to get on the selectmen yeah. exactly yeah. you call them up and you say we'd like to be placed on the agenda yeah, we do they can do that to yeah. any yeah. 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 We, so that, we, we did that and it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> don't confuse Jane, everybody can you call on. up the board of selectmen and tell them that <laughs> we want we to be on your agenda like <laughs> other boards we <laughs> will oh, okay. honor okay. the request to be put on can we have a motion for jane to call the board of selectmen and ask them if we can get on their agenda i second that I will make a motion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm sorry. It shouldn't be funny. All right. So enough with that. So then we'll keep it. We'll, we'll deal with it. it. We'll talk about this we'll in the future. Decide. Um, yeah. With the understanding, we can always go back and review it. All right. Um, so I guess that's it. Do we we have um, to go into um, executive session? I'm not sure if do do we. Is there anything we need to discuss? Is there anything that we... I asked you to put it on because I wanted to talk about the update of the appeal of the attorneys, but is there anything... Um, no, there should be two copies. Is there anything that we... Yeah, I gave them to um, need, I just, just because we were going to re-sign this and what our next kind of um, move was, where do we go from here on the appeal? Is it worth a discussion, or do we want to hold off until Ross, until uh, the next meeting? I, it's 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 up to you guys. I, I just kind of feel like we're operating blind, yes. and that's why I wanted to say, in in you know, then maybe we should go into executive session. I, I right. would let's, ask let's just, even if it's even if it's for Zion, five yes. or ten minutes, sure. let's kind of <coughs> make sure that we're all feeling comfortable with what's happening. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'll listen to the vote. <laughs> <laughs> You'll listen to the vote? Okay. Um, I make a motion we go into executive session to discuss strategy with the... Oh, you're supposed to do that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're going think to of it. Um, go into um, executive session under MGL Chapter 30A, Section 21.3 to discuss the strategy with respect to litigation in an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and the chair so declares. And we do declare. Right. And the chair so, so declares. Um, the, the, for the BGD site plan appeal and for um, the OML complaint legal counsel. Okay. Um, so we need to have a roll call vote to go in, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, yes. you need a second on that? You made a motion. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll second that mm -hmm. motion, then you do a roll call vote. Roll call vote. Yes. Yes, Don Clay. Yes, Alicia Jeek. Yes, John Smith. Yes, Pat Peter Bell. And we so will come out of the Drew executive session to for the we sole will purpose only of. only come out of executive session for the purpose of closing the um, meeting. And adjourning it for adjournment. Okay. Okay. <coughs> we will not.